So, Albert Einstein invented a refrigerator. Well, he didn't do it himself. He actually co-invented it with the person who first conceptualized a nuclear chain reaction, Leo Szilard. So sit back and let me tell you the story of why these two brilliant physicists invented a fridge. Seven years after he became world famous overnight for the observational validation of his general theory of relativity, Albert Einstein was shocked to read in his local German newspaper that an entire family was killed by a leak of poisonous gases from their refrigerator. Soon after, he called up his former student and friend, Leo Szilard. There must be a better way, he told him. By the way, it was only seven years after that that Leo Szilard actually first conceptualized the idea of a nuclear chain reaction. See, the primary cause of the leaks was seals around the pumps. After all, the pumps have moving parts which can wear out seals all over the place. So Einstein and Szilard started working on a refrigerator with no moving parts, just a heat source. In their case, the heat source was a methane flame. So in a very real sense, they were cooling water with fire. Their refrigerator used three working fluids, butane, ammonia, and water. Initially, the ammonia is mixed with the water and it's heated. This causes some of the ammonia to leave in the form of a gas, reducing the amount of ammonia in the water. This gaseous ammonia is then forced into the evaporating chamber where it mixes with the butane. And because the ammonia takes up space, there's less butane in the chamber, so the liquid butane at the bottom evaporates, taking some heat with it. This is the heat that is removed to refrigerate the cold box, by the way. Next, that butane ammonia mixed gas feeds into a condenser where some pre-cooled ammonia pour water is sprayed. This water then absorbs the gaseous ammonia which condenses and sinks to the bottom, feeding back to the heating chamber. The butane, now being the majority again, having high partial pressure, recondenses, releasing heat. This heat is then dumped to the environment and the liquid butane is then fed back to the evaporating chamber. And then, the cycle repeats, no moving parts involved. They patented this design in the US on November 11th, 1930. Imagine being that patent clerk seeing THE Albert Einstein signature on a refrigerator patent. But, unfortunately for Szilard and Einstein, this refrigerator is pretty inefficient, and a few years later, non-toxic refrigerating fluids, like Freon, were introduced, which removed the incentive to worry about leaks, so the invention and subsequent patents were never commercialized. But they did sell the patents and received a hefty chunk of change, around $10,000 in today's money, so it wasn't all a waste. In particular, their refrigerator. This is the heat that is removed from the refrigerator from the refrigerator to refrigerate. Feeds into a condenser where that where that feeds into a condenser. Uh, condenser.